guys. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm really excited for today's video. You saw by the title and thumbnail, it's not about plants, but this is something that has changed my life. Not to be dramatic, that's kind of dramatic, but also not. If you've had acne in your life, you know what I mean. You guys, my acne's gone. I've had acne my literally entire life. And just in the last few weeks, my skin has cleared up drastically. I was constantly reading up on facial skin stuff, advice, tips, things that could be going wrong with my skin. I mean, you guys have seen how terrible it was. I guess it's not totally gone. I still have a lot of scarring, but the texture has improved so much. I'm not getting the big bumps. I get a little bump, some little bumps here and there. It is what it is. It's skin. We're going to get stuff every once in a while, but it is so much better than it was. And you know what? I do want to say my whole life I thought I had oily skin. So you know what I was using on it? I was using crap like Thayer's Witch Hazel to dry it out. And I put some crazy stuff on my face to try and dry it out. And now I realize that my skin is actually dry. Who knew? Who freaking knew? Not me. Because I was stripping the shit out of the skin, okay? It's over. It's in the past. I'm so sorry, myself. I'm going to walk you through my morning skincare routine routine. <laughs> yeah, it leaves my skin feeling really good throughout the day. So let's get into it. And I will link every single product I show in the video down in the description box. If you want to try things out for yourself, look into the products a little bit more. They will all be linked down there. Now let's actually get into it. First, I'm going to pull my hair out so it don't get in my face when I'm trying to wash my face and put other crap on my face. First, in the morning time, I use Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. This is really gentle and moisturizing and it doesn't strip my skin. For such a long time, I thought if I put something on my skin and it made it feel like tight and like dry, it was doing what it needed to do. <laughs> Dummy, that's wrong. <laughs> I've come to find that's wrong. And I use like lukewarm-ish water. I used to use really, really scalding hot water because I thought it would kill the stuff on my face. But that was also very wrong. My brain, man, it makes up some weird shit. <laughs> All right, let's wash the face. Just like that much. And I'm gonna rub it all in. Making sure I get into all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> These wrinkles are no joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm 26. <laughs> I don't have very many wrinkles yet, but I do have some nooks and crannies for sure. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I do also use this on my like eye and I'll mostly wash my eye as I'm like rinsing the product off so I don't get it in my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse. Whew. And then I'm just gonna dry it off with a towel. Really, I try to be more gentle with my skin. I've put it through the ringer these last 26 years of life by like small things. Like before I was just like, I'd get out of the shower and then I'd dry my face and I'd be like, like scraping the crap out of it with the towel because it felt good. But now I, now I don't do that. Now I'm very gentle. So gentle. And I do just want to say, I know there's like certain ingredients you can't mix. I'm still learning all of that. So if I'm doing something wrong, please politely tell me in the comments. Don't like be mean, please. Because I'm still learning. So I'm going to take a cotton round. I need to buy reusable ones. I just haven't yet. These ones are kind of like thick. So I'm just gonna rip it in half and then rip it in half again so that I'm not wasting as much stuff. And then I'm just gonna fold it so it's like a quarter of one. <laughs> and then put on some of this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant to there. And do that on my face. Just little swipes all over, except for on my eyes. I'm not putting it on my eyes and on my chest if I have any left over. I do also like to put it, put stuff down like on my chest because I do get like bumps and acne there too. Is that gross? I'm sorry if that's gross, but that's my reality. So I don't want to waste the crap. So I just put it down on my chest too. Anybody else? Is that like a thing? Is that weird? Let me know. I am going to use this. I'm going to put on this, the Ordinary Niacinamide. I'm going to put on like this much like that much. Rubber in. Again, not on my eyes, but make sure I get it down the neck. 
And then I'm just gonna let that absorb for some time. I kind of switch it up. So I have these three different serums. I Unique, I Unique. Oh, I Unique. Is that what it is? These three. And I just switch it up. Usually I'll only use this one at night because it's really thick. But I think today I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the black snail one. And again, just add this much. Ooh, it's dripping. This one is quite a bit thinner than the other ones. And the serums I do put on my eye skin. I don't know if that's correct. Is that correct or no? I don't know. But I do it. Now I'm going to go in with the creme of the crop. The cream of the crop. What's the saying? The cream of the crop? Like, oh, because like creamed corn. I'm gonna go in with Crave Great Barrier Relief. 100%, I think the face wash, this, and the niacinamide are the three things that have changed my skin the most. So those are the ones I like most recommend. Actually, I love all of this stuff. It all feels so nice. I think a combination of all this is doing well, but those are the three things that like, if I could only have three things, it would be those. Anyway, I'm going to put a lot of this one, two, three. I think you're only supposed to do two pumps, but I do like to put it down on my chest also because I don't want my face skin to look all nice and then my chest to be like, like shriveled up and crusty. Also put it on my eyes, not in my eyes. Move down all my chesticles. Oakley boy. This stuff, let me tell you, it feels like when you, when you ran 10 miles out in the heat, and you had no water and you were so thirsty. So then you go home and you chug like a gallon of water. That's what that stuff feels like on my face. Now I'm gonna put on my moisturizer and it's the Centella, iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. iUnique, iUnique, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit because we are very moisturized at this point. Only like that much. All over the face. And a little bit down on the chesticle again. Pack it on the eyeball. Now in the morning, I like to go in with Glossier Bubble Wrap. And I'm just gonna get one little pump. Lefty, pack it together like this. Put a little bit on my lippies. Put them out and put it underneath my eyeballs. No, it just makes them look more like, not as like puffy and bumpy and wrinkly. Everything's absorbed. I'm gonna go in with this stuff. So this is kind of a bummer. I got this recommendation from Hiram's YouTube channel, you know? I follow this other skincare page that like reviews products and one came out about this that they did some tests here in the US and it's actually only SPF 19, which really sucks. But I'm gonna keep using it because I don't wanna like waste it. And I'm just gonna have to get another face sunscreen that has like higher SPF. But fortunately right now I don't leave the house really, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I'm just gonna put a whole bunch on. Like a whole bunch. Pack it on my eyes, my ears, my neck. Yeah, that's that. Well, that's my morning skincare routine. This was so fun. If you're here, thanks for watching. I know it's not plants, it's not plants. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see my next one.